What is going on, guys? Welcome to Gregos TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Have a fantastic weekend, and let's get into the news. The first story of the day is about Instagram and their stories. If you don't know, use Instagram, or if you do use Instagram, uh, you'll know or hopefully know that they have these stories, you know, these little blips you can put up, and they're gone the, within 24 hours, a la Snapchat. Um, and if you take a screenshot of, say, the video or the photo that was going on while you're watching that, story, it would automatically send a notification to the, the person that posted it, letting them know that you snapshotted that video or photo. Snapchat does the exact same thing. It's a way to kind of like, you know, get, keep the creepers away if you want to hide your stuff and you keep noticing people keep uh, screenshotting your material. Well, it looks like Instagram has officially removed that. Uh, they've released that information to BuzzFeed, letting them know that they've removed the feature so that when you screenshot somebody's story, it will no longer give them a notification. Good for the pervs, bad for the the, the people that, that don't want to be watched by pervs or whatever, but I mean, yeah, or people that are sick of getting their content stolen, now you're no longer gonna know that someone screenshotted or not. So keep that in mind, maybe you'll want to jump back to Snapchat, but still, their interface, since they changed it, sucks. So maybe you want to stay on Instagram. And the last story of the day is about AT&T and Time Warner. AT&T now officially owns Time Warner. It's an $85 billion deal. There's a lot of ramifications here. So AT&T will now own like T, uh, TNT, TBS, HBO officially, and a bunch of other stuff as well. And uh, so some things that'll be coming to you as a customer, if you're on AT&T and you're on one of their newer unlimited plans like AT&T, I think it's plus and choice or whatever, they change it all the time. You will eventually, well, probably really soon, be getting free TV. It's like, it's gonna be called like AT&T TV. It's gonna be 15 bucks, but it'll be credited to your account because they already give you a $15 credit towards TV uh, that you can use and you'll be, it does not, won't have sports, um, but it'll have basically a few channels, probably everything that they own minus HBO. Um, and that'll be free that you'll be able to get that. Also people that want that, the AT&T TV, um, that are on like say Verizon, T-Mobile, or Sprint, you'll also be able to sign up for it. Again, it won't have sports, but, be able to, but it will be about 15 bucks, which will make it the cheapest television online uh, company that you can purchase a subscription with. Um, other than that, you're probably gonna see, I mean, AT&T owns a lot now. They own DirecTV, they've owned that for a while. They, all, they own fiber networks and things like that. Uh, so they own a lot of stuff. They have a huge wireless network. They're a huge company. They always were a big company, but now they're even bigger and have more a, a broader uh, reach to everybody, especially when you're, they're owning all these television stations and companies and things like that. So there you go. The biggest, one of the biggest companies, AT&T, has gotten even larger, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question to you guys is, do you subscribe to these services like um, a, a direct TV online or even direct TV. Do you have a cable subscription? Let me know in the comments down below if you do and what you subscribe to. I uh, don't really subscribe. I don't no, I don't have any. I have WWE Network, YouTube. Um, so I have no commercials, not YouTube TV, but I mean, I've tried all those things, but yeah, the only ones I, I pay in Hulu. Yeah, that's really it. Let me know what you guys do. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.